Hi, welcome to the testing world. In this session, we are going to cover element locators for the web application on mobile browsers. We are going to cover different element locators like ID, name, class name, CSS and XPath. So we'll start with the ID, name and the class name. Moving to the browser, user, agent, switcher. So I'm clicking on this user, agent, switcher for Chrome. Here we got option added to Chrome because I already have, I'm, I'm getting the option added to Chrome. But you will have to click on this add button. You'll get the add button over here. Click on that. It will install on the browser. Once it is installed successfully, we are going to get this option. Now I start automating first application. We are going for the Google. This is the web based view. We have seen many applications which display different on the web, but when we open them on the mobile browser, the layout is different. So to convert this web view, into the mobile browser view we are going to user agent and then I select Android here we have the option of the Android ticket so now my UI is converted to the mobile browser format now I can go to find out the different element locator the first element locator I'm going to use is ID so I click on this box it's a search box and here I can see the HTML. First element locator I'm going to work on is the ID. So here we have the ID. I pick it. I'm using like this. driver dot find element by ID and I mention this and then send keys. Here I'm typing this thing giving some delay over so we can actually view what's happening on the mobile browser while running the test cases so it wants some an exception handling so i'm doing that so as of now we are using just one element locator in which we are finding an element by its id i'm using one more you know element locator it's a find element by its name so i'm going here I can check name is Q so I can use this I'm going for name is Q and now I want to you know type software testing so now we have used two element locator ID and the name Again, I put some delay and then I'm delaying for the 2 seconds only, 2 or 3 seconds we will put it so that Now I'm moving to driver dot find element by class name The third element locator which I'm going to use is the class name So this search button, I right click on this inspect element here we can see a search button with the class so I pick the value I'm using over here perform the click action so now we have a test case with the ID so now we have a small test case with the ID name and the class name as the element look I'm moving to execute my test case in the before moving to the test case execution, the software which we can use to display mobile screen on the PC. So whatever action took place on my mobile screen will be displayed on the PC by using this Droid software. So I'm, um, you know, just check it again like my APM server is running or not. It's working fine. So I just execute my test case. 
we can follow this Droid software. So whatever the action that will took place on my mobile device will be displayed over here. Here we can see, let's unlock my device. Started my browser. Then pasted the URL. It typed testing, then software testing, and at the end, click on that button. So we have seen all the three element locators are working fine. ID, the name, and then class name. Moving to my slides, here we have covered ID, name, and the class name. Moving to the CSS and X path. So the two techniques that we are going to use in the CSS is a tag name with ID, tag name with class, X path with the one attribute and X path with the multiple attributes. So moving to, you know, again on the browser, I want to update my test case. So here on the first, this text box, I want to locate by the CSS. So first technique of the CSS is the tag name, which is input and ID is this. So I copied this, moving over here, input is my you know, tag name, then hash to show its ID, then pasted the ID and then send keys. So I'm typing software first. Then I'm coming to the search button, right click on this, here we get like, right click on this, here we got the button element locator and the class is this. So I copy this and then driver dot find element by CSS and the second technique of the CSS is tag with class name. So here tag is the button. So I mentioned button and for using the class name, it's just the class name. Then I'm using the click event and again the rest of the code I am deleting because this time we are using the two techniques of the CSS element locator. So I run this code. To moving to droid screen and here we can see the execution status So we can see again like both the element locator of the CSS are working fine. So we have seen everything work fine for the CSS element locator. So as of now we have covered the techniques like CSS with ID and the CSS with class. So in the rest of the techniques of the CSS and X path we will cover in the next session. Thanks for watching this video.